Okay, we're going to move on to the directory of power agents. Oh, so many exciting things happening here. Um, somebody take yourself off mute and shout out if you've heard that the power agent directory is going to be public soon. Okay, let me be the first to tell you that um, the power agent directory, I believe it's Monday. I've been saying soon for so long that um, I'm so excited that it is here just now. Somebody popped a question into the chat. Please don't use the chat. Just take yourself off mute. Interrupt me. Um, Valerie. Valerie said, yes, I know that it's going live. Yeah, I'm not sure it's tomorrow, Valerie, but I know it's soon. Um, I was under the impression Monday, but I could be wrong. Um, I've been wrong before. Um, probably be wrong again. Um, but the Power Agent Directory is going live. I'm going to click in here because this is so exciting. It's so exciting for you. So when you click into the Power Agent Directory, the first thing that you should do is come in the upper right-hand corner. It says, Update My Profile. When you click on the Update My Profile button, it's going to bring you inside something that's similar to profile and billing where you're going to add your entries, but it is a deep dive into who you are. So you have your mobile phone number, your email address, your office phone number, your website. To change any one of these, you're going to click on the update button. You're going to change the, whatever you want to change. I'm changing my phone number from 555 to 888. Then right here is a check mark that you click to save it. I recommend you do them one at a time to make sure everything is saving properly. Um, you must click the check box. If you leave the site and you didn't click those check box, everything you just did is gonna disappear. So as we go down the right-hand side, it's then gonna ask you for your social media. I'm gonna update this and delete it because I'm gonna demonstrate how to capture that. Um, and now it's blank. So you have the option to put in here your personal page, your business page, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, your YouTube channel. Anything that lets a person know who you are and to what level you have extended your professionalism. Shout it out to the world, let them know who you are. This is not only a revenue generating tool from referrals to another power agent, this is a going to be a revenue generated tool to the world because they are going to be able to look up and search for a power agent. So as of Friday, Monday, somewhere in there, the world will be able to say, I want to work with a power agent and contact you through the information here to say, I want to sell my home. I want to buy a home. So as we're going through here, remember that what you input here is changing somebody's mind to, I'm going to make a cold call to the call is now warm because something in here has clicked with me. So your bio, my bio says, this is my bio, I promise it will get better. It, it's not gonna get better by me, I'm not a writer. Um, I, I speak. Um, so Christy, inside Tech Tools and Training does a one hour webinar on how to write a bio. If you still don't wanna write your bio, you can call Christy, hire her, she'll interview you, write your bio for you. It's what she does. Same thing with your tagline. I'm going to delete all these on the bottom as I'm scrolling up this page so I can demonstrate to you how to use this. And then at the top, it's going to ask your name, your title, the company. Let's. I was demonstrating that. Um, your company your awards, certifications, your specialties. Guys, I know you're humble, but please, 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 if there's ever a time that you need to pat yourself on the back, shout it out to the world. Let them know how hard you've worked at your profession. Put every award, certifications, pop it in there and let who's ever looking at this, whether it's another power agent, 
or somebody worldwide, a consumer worldwide, know who you are. There was a, um, a note sent to us yesterday after the webinar that somebody, a power agent, has received over $30,000 in referrals from the power agent directory. This is a revenue generating tool for you. Those checks come in while you're doing nothing because somebody, the referral has gone out to somebody else. Um, underneath that, it says public address. Um, your public address, unlike your profile and billing where that's behind the scenes, this is going to be public worldwide. So if you don't want your home address in here, um, put your office address in there. If you um, don't have an office address, many of us don't have an office now, you can um, put in here, uh, leave out your street, just put the city and state. Or you may want to consider a PO box. Now, one of the most important features of this is to add my locations. On the bottom left hand side, it says my location. If you, if your um, directory has ported over from from the old directory, because this directory is about, I'm going to say six months old. I'm really not sure. Um, and there's some something in here, and it does not was not entered by you this way, please delete it. And we're gonna go through this together. So under my locations, it says add new location. When you click that button, a new map, a little baby map is gonna show up on the bottom. I live in Western New York. I want you to think like a consumer. Could you tag yourself in the state of Florida? Yes. But if a consumer is looking for you, are they going to search Florida? Or are they going to search Tampa, Orlando, wherever? So I live in Western New York. Consumers don't ask for that. It's too broad of a thing. They don't even ask for Erie County. They will ask for Amherst. So once I have typed Amherst in here, the drop down menu has given me all the choices for drop down. So Amherst, New York, there's the pin. It's pinned in on the city. I now must save it to my locations. So here it is, now it's pinned to Amherst, New York. Well, I'm licensed in two states. So I want to add another location. So I'm going to go right back into this map. I'm going to put Stanford. I'm going to find Connecticut. Right there, it's going to pin me to that city. And I'm going to add another location. Now, what did I do wrong? I didn't hit save. So if you don't hit that save button and you're adding city after city after city, it's only going to convert back to this one. So let's do that again. Add location, Stanford, Connecticut. There's the pin, save. Now you might, depending on your screen size, you might have to scroll up and down to see your save button. Now Amherst is what Western New York considers the North Towns. The South Towns are about 10 miles away. I would, if I was still selling real estate, service both. So if I now want somebody to be able to look me up in the South Towns, I'm going to type Lakeview, choose from the drop down. There's the pin. Now it's pinning me there. And I'm going to hit save. So the reason that I chose a second location in Western New York is because it's a little outside the realm and I wanted to make sure that people saw me there as well. I recommend that you have a center point and maybe four corners of the area you serviced, that you service. So don't go too far outside of your center point because that may indicate or give the perception 
that you service an area that's too far away. Any questions so far? Okay. If you want to opt out of the member directory and not participate, there's a red button right here. And that will opt you out. You can change your profile picture just like you can in the profile and billing section. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do a search. There you go. So now it's opening up to the map of the United States, Canada. Um, and I want to search. I was on a coaching call. I heard somebody speaking. And all I know is their first name is Shelly. So I put Shelly's name in the search. I hit the search button. And then all of the Shelly's. will show up. There's two. You might recognize this Shelly. That's Shelly Henry. That's our Shelly. She works for the Daryl Davis team. So if there were more, let me see how many Johns there are. There are more Johns right here. I don't know if you can see it. Right here, there is a second scroll bar. This bar will scroll the page up and down. This bar is going to scroll through all of the people named John or that have John in their name, which includes Johnson. So it will search looking for what you put in that box, any portion of it. Now, if I wanna search a city and a state, I'm gonna come over here to this right-hand box. I'm gonna pop in here, Amherst, New York. I'm going to choose from the drop-down menu and it's going to pull up all the power agents in the Amherst, New York area. If I want to expand, because here's Amherst, and I'm a little bit familiar, and I want to see outside this area, I'm going to zoom the map out, and then I'm going to hit this redo search in map. Now, you may have to scroll your page. Redo search in map. And now it's picking up all of the power agents in the area that I'm in. I use this scroll bar here to scroll down and back up. Any questions? Perfect. So remember, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whenever it's going live, this is going to be a live URL, findapoweragent.com. And it'll be opened worldwide. One more time, because there's a lot of questions that come into us about the directory. I just want to make sure that you're all clear on how to use it. 